Good afternoon. Good afternoon, people of God. This is uh, Dr. DeWanda Owens coming to you to talk about our ABCs of mental health. Our uh, word for the day is uh, food state. Uh, a lot of us, due to trauma, due to things that happened in the past, we have came into a place where we have blocked out things or, or put it in the back of our mind. That's what we use, we normally say. We're in that state of mind regarding certain conditions or certain situations or certain circumstances and certain traumatic events that happen to us in life. And that leads to um, sometimes when we hold it in, it leads to a level of anxiety and depression. Sometimes when we seek treatment, all of those things that we have held in the back of our mind or that we have tried not to remember, or maybe we really legitimately didn't remember, starts to, uh, our memory starts to be in jogged and then we begin to come into play of the things that actually happened and, and affected us. And sometimes in the middle of uh, treatment, in the middle of us remembering things, uh, this 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 particular um, state of mind causes us to go into a place of anxiety and depression. Uh, but I wanted to come on today to talk about that, to let you know that uh, whatever is in your past that you try so hard to forget, work harder at getting healed. Because one thing about our past, we can't erase it but we can heal from it. We can not only heal from it, we can get delivered and we can get made whole. And there are things that um, affect us sometimes, even in our adult life and relationships. Uh, we find ourselves having struggles in relationships and we, we sometimes don't, the, the individual that's in a relationship with us sometimes don't understand. It's almost like we are more than one person. Uh, we, they can do something or say something that triggers something that we've tried to black out or blot out or put in the back of our head or in the back of our mind or try to forget about. And they do something or say something to trigger that and it automatically comes to the forefront and you become a different person. So, but if you seek treatment while treatment can be found, if you treat, seek healing while healing can be found, if you seek deliverance while deliverance can be received, then it makes for a better 100% you. You get to know who you really are and, and you bring 100% of you into a relationship. Because sometimes we're in a relationship with people and we don't even know who we are, but we expect them to know who we are. How can other others know who we are if we have blotted out who we really are, if we have forgotten about the things that have impacted us and made us who we are today, and we have not addressed it? We have not gotten healed. We have not sought attention. We've not gotten deliverance. We have not, we, we just have just forgot about that it even happened, forgot about that it took place. We don't want to face it. We don't want to deal with the hurt. We don't want to deal with the pain. We don't want to deal with the consequences. But God says today, today is the day that you seek healing, deliverance, and be made whole. And in your process of being healed and delivered and being made whole, Accept the fact that things do happen, but you are not what happened. You don't have to become what happened. And neither do you have to forget about what happened. Just get healed through what happened. Because remember, you lived through it. You survived it, not thrive past it. You lived through it. You survived it. Now thrive past it. Whatever it is that you're holding in, release it. Whatever it is, get to know the, the, the core of who you are so that you can bring all of you into a relationship. And in that relationship, the individual that you're in, in a relationship with has the, has the ability to know the real you. Don't be in a food state all of your life. Snap out, snap back, and walk in the real you. God bless.